Okay, welcome to Metcon, metabolic conditioning. We're going to burn fat, boost metabolism, and hopefully have a little fun. Bring your knees up and twist in front. Metabolic conditioning, we're going to use a variety of training techniques. Keep your body guessing. Keep the muscles guessing. We'll be doing some low impact cardio. We'll stop that heart rate. Compound work. We're working multiple muscle groups at the same time. Set heart rate up, and also targeted strength. We're really going to focus on building lean muscle. Lean muscle increases your metabolism. Why? Because if you can convert a pound of fat to a pound of muscle, that pound of muscle is going to burn three times as many calories as that pound of fat. So if you can do 10 pounds, you're going to increase the amount of calories you burn in a day enough to lead to weight loss, provided you keep your eating at the same level. Now, I'm going to have your weight with this first move. It's a basic squat or rear leg raise. So squat or, if you need to take the bend down, you're just going to do a rear leg raise here. We want to be weighting our heels, sitting back, here we go. Sit back, chest is up, drive through the heels and squeeze. Down and up. Or rear leg raise, plant the foot. Rear leg raise, plant the foot. Just follow along at the same pace as the squats. And that rear leg raise, you're hitting the glute just like we are, and you're protecting your knees. So do what's right for you. So these first three moves here are targeted. And we'll do a cardio right in the middle of our circuit. Then we have a couple compounds. In that score. So, a lot going on in each circuit. Onto a hammer curl. I'm going to keep my heavier weight because the head of the weight comes up here versus a bicep curl where the entire weight is pulling on gravity there. Because we change the hand position, you might be able to go a little heavier here. So, pick your weight accordingly and here we go. Hammer curl up. Keep those elbows in. So, none of this. All right, we want those elbows right at the side. Forearm is moving, that's it. You are working that bicep, and you're going to feel that forearm between the elbow and the wrist. Because in the hammer position, it jumps in because of the way your wrists are aligned with the weight. Feel it. I'm in a staggered stance, one foot forward, one back. You could be both feet. Under your hips, whatever feels good to you. You just want to really be able to support the move without adding any kind of momentum. Okay? Alright, a little lighter for my presses. Okay, we'll run the press. Palms facing your ears. I've had some shoulder surgery long ago, but I protect these shoulders. So, palms facing the ears, pressing it up and down. So, that's a limitation I have. That, more recently, the back surgery. I see the brace under my clothes. <laughs> Um, we have to acknowledge our limitations as we age, right? But we don't stop, we modify. And that's you and me because we're here together right now. So modifying the moves as needed, but keep moving. That's the key. Pressing this up and down. Glad I went lighter here. Heavy and rest. Good job. Alright, keep one of your medium weights. We're just going to bring this up and over. We'll start from your right, up and over, and down, up and over. Now, this is your low impact cardio. This weight is going to increase intensity. We're not going to jump, we want to boost that heart rate. So, up to your right. Ready? Up and over, tap the feet. Just kind of walk with this. Whatever feels comfortable, but the more you move, the higher the heart rate's going to go. Keep those abs tight here. You're working them. Warm up those obliques. The other side waistline. We want to get some work here. In this workout. Now these cardio segments are 30 seconds. So go hard here. Don't stop. There we go. Now we stop. Good. Alright, let's put it all together from the squat hammer press. So we squat, hammer, press, 
four, leg raise, hammer, press, you get it. Whatever works for you. Ready? Here we go. Squat, hammer, press, four, leg raise, hammer, press, except you can call it on the other side, right? So now you're on your right side. Like that, I'm just set one up. <laughs> Here we go. Squat, hammer, press. Feel it? Feel the heart rate coming up? That's the compound moves here, doing that. Lots of muscles working at the same time. We all want oxygen. So, the heart has to work a little harder, and the lungs have to get that oxygen to the blood so the heart can move it up. Okay, one way down onto that ab core I told you was coming up, and they're sprinkled all through here. Going to hold the weight in front, think about a halo. Roll and change angels. Okay. Rotate the hips with this. We'll go up over your right shoulder first. Are you ready? Up and around. Down. Just move again. You're kind of opposing the weight. So the hips are going in the direction away from the weight. Getting that rotation in the core, front and back. Or it's not just your abs, your waistline, your back, your glutes, everything in the torso, chest, all working. And if you're loving this halo, get ready because it's part of our next combination. You're going to hold the weight right where we had it. You're going to squat as you come up, up and around. Or leg raise, put the foot down, up and around. Leg raise, foot down, up and around. So you pick which one you want to do, okay? I'll go with our squat. Here we go. Squat, bring it up and around. And squat, up and around. Or leg raise, up and around. Leg raise. It's going at the same pace as the squat. Just taking that. And out. Rotate those hips. Remember to rotate the hips. You're coming up out of the squat. And then we get that rotation going. The rest coming. So you will be 10 seconds. 30 second rest. I'm going to finish my halo. Cutting into my rest there. Nice work. All right. Circle one. Out of the way. Okay. Deadlift. So deadlift is up next. A lot of deadlifts in this next circuit. The last circuit was a lot of squats, right? A lot of shoulder. All right, now we're going to deadlift. So weights in your heels. You're driving the hips back. Your back is flat. Do not round the back here. Those shoulders up. Drive the hips forward and squeeze the buns. Are you ready? Deep breath. Here we go. Driving those hips back. Feel the weight in your heels. You can literally wiggle your toes your sneakers here because they are not even on the ground. All of that weight is in the heels. Go nice and slow. Driving those hips back. One heavy here. If you can, if you have options, you should be able to go heavy here. Five more seconds here. Used to this move, it's going to show up again and rest it. Now I'm going to stay on my heavy weights. I'm going to keep that position as if I'm holding a bar, a dumbbell bar, a barbell bar, sorry. Coming down like you're holding a bar, you're going to pull, elbows come out to the side. Boom. This comes up to the shoulder area and then we come up, okay? Let's do five. Come on down, do five. Five. Four. Three. Two. Come on up. Give that lower back just a little break. Take it down. Five again. Stay with the five count. Come on up. Take it down. Elbows are going out to the side. Leaving with the elbows here. Hitting the back of the shoulder and the upper back. One more, I think. Five or six there. Here we go. Five more. Ready? We're not even. We can get a couple here. And there it is. Good. Rest in. 
throwing my weight down onto the bicep curl. So these are different than those hammers. These are holding the weight where gravity's pulling on the entire weight versus just the head of the weight. So it gets heavier, you have more resistance. So go my medium weight, curling up and down, elbows in. So my elbows don't move. You see attached to my waist here. My wrists are neutral. They don't come up and twist, okay? Don't move those wrists at all. I like the staggered stance. It's just a personal thing for me. I feel the most support there, but if you feel better with your feet under your hips or the other leg forward, whatever supports the move and allows you to do this without momentum. So we don't want to be going like this, okay? If you're going like that, you need to lighten your weight. All right, middle of the circuit. Time for 30 seconds cardio. It's weighted. Stay with the medium weight. If you can, we're gonna do a weighted jack. So I'm gonna push out, in, up. So it goes out, up. Moving, because this is cardio. Ready? Deep breath. Here we go. Push, push. Abs are tight. Pull that lower half nice and tight. The tummy. It's really supporting this move as the weight goes out, then up. It's a balanced kind of stabilization. Feel it. And rest. There was your cardio. Good. Feel the heart rate, I hope. Cool-wee. Okay. You're going to do a deadlift. To a wide row up to the bicep curl. So, complicated. I'm going to deadlift down, wide row, and as you stand, rotate the hands towards me to the curl. Here we go. Palms are towards you, down, do your row. We did the beginning of the circuit. Rotate, curl. Take it down, pull, come on up, curl. Now remember, weight in the heels here, back is flat. Get your safety cues as we make these combinations. Shoulder rotation here. Always good to work that rotator cuff. Good. Rest. Okay. On to some oblique leans, alternating. So I'm going to go my heavy weight. This is. Targeted, core, obliques, waistline, and go over and lift. Pull the tummy tight, make it work while we work this waistline. A little bend in those knees, okay? Ready? Here we go. Over, up. Remember, abs are tight here. They are working. As we sculpt those obliques, we all want a nice, pretty waist, I know. And where it abs me, we all know this. If you've been with me a while, abs are made in the kitchen. You gotta cut the sugar, you gotta cut the processed food. You will deflate that area around your middle with just those two changes. Sugar and processed foods, which behave in the body just like sugar, really cause you to retain water in the muscle tissue, within the fat, between the fat cells. So that's how you can get that puffy feeling. If you eliminate that, you're gonna feel better in about three days. We're gonna deadlift, down, come up, overly clean, one side. Okay, here we go. Deadlift down, bring it up, change the weight. So if it is like a bar, down and up, then it's on your sides, overly clean. Just like how we combine that squat and that halo, and we're combining the deadlift and the obliques. We move on in this metcon. If you're doing a longer version, as I do separate these out into shorter workouts, format's going to be a little different as far as that oblique work because it's going to really be incorporated in an awful lot of what we're going to do with our moves coming moving forward. All right, we're on to a side lunge. I'm going to move my heavy weight. 
and step to your right, weights on either side, drive it up, other side, okay? Let's grab the weight. You know what, let's do this, let's isolate this. This is like isolated. Don't step to your right with just the side lunge going right. Ready? Deep breath. So I work this side. Over. Now I'm stepping out, hinging forward just like that deadlift. Nice flat back and pushing up. You need to take a bend out, you're still getting that flat back. Push it up. That's tight, flat back. Push it up. Going. What's there? And rest. Alright, let's hit the other side. Let's bring it on over. Deep breath. This nice 20 second rest. Give you a chance to change your weights if you need to, but you did the heavier weight on one side. I'd like you to do the heavier weight on this side too, okay? Get yeah, ready. We're going in three, two, one. Here we go. Step it out. Push it up. Flat back. Bring the hips back. Weights in that heel. Right there. Okay, you're gonna hammer up 
and press. Over, up, and press. A lot of movement here, unilateral, but also putting in this side lunge, and balance. Now balance, when I told you the core was a little different in this circuit, it's right there. You should feel it. Pull those abs tight, it's going to help you with this balance. If you're just starting out, you can bring the foot in, and you can add this leg raise later as you progress. Progression's a fun thing. I love that with my clients. I said, wow, that workout was one that really crushed me a month ago, and now I did it. Now at ease, maybe, but I feel really good about it. So that's what I want for you. Keep working hard. Do the modifications. Stay with it, okay? You are worth 30 minutes a day. You really are. And if you seriously don't have 30 minutes a day, we have 10 minute, 20 minute, 15 minute workouts on the channel. So find those. Give yourself a 10 minute workout. Just letting the body move. Reminds it that that's what it does. Creates that habit. And I love seeing that with my clients when they say, you know, Went to my shorter workout. Great. Do a 10 minute workout. Super. I want to build that habit. And I want you to have options when you truly are having one of those days. Because <laughs> I have those days too, I promise. Maybe today is one of those days. I don't know. Today is young. I'm feeling this in the morning. We'll see what happens. Woo! There we go. Ah, you ready for a rest? Deep breath. Final circuit coming up. Let's start with a curtsy crunch. So, do I want to use a weight here? No, I think we'll go with other weight. We're going to step. Let's step to your right. Coming over, up, crunch. I think I'm going to grab weight. I'm going to grab one of my mediums. Sorry. A little indecision there. Holding it right here. Step out to your right. Ready? Breaks over just like that. I'm sorry, curtsy. Up. What am I saying? Crunch. I'm not going to take that out. Show you I'm human. I messed that up, but that's okay. Curtsy. Up. Crunch. And crunch. Pull those abs tight there. I'm going to my toe down just a little bit. Get my stabilizers right in there. Ready to do the ab work. And crunch it. Now we did it. Oops. Squats, our first circuit, crunch it, sorry. Deadlifts, lateral lunges, and now lots of curtsies. Lots of curtsies to those boots. So, other side, deep breath. Curtsy lunges, I like them. I like side lunges too. Not a fan from front to back. Five seconds we go. Deep breath. There you go, take it back. Over, up. And crunch. Just take the bend out, you know that, right? Back, over, and crunch. Don't go into an area where you're feeling pain. That's never good. I hate hearing no pain, no gain. No pain, no gain means if you're not hurting, it's not working. And that's ridiculous, okay? <laughs> that's ridiculous. If you're hurting, that means you're limiting yourself. It means tomorrow, have more pain than you had today. Why would we do that? We won't. Don't worry. <laughs> I don't want you doing anything that causes you pain. Please, all right? If you are feeling pain, you need to back out of whatever move you're doing enough that you're able to work the muscle without feeling joint pain, okay? There's a difference between pain and soreness. Joint, joint pain is one thing. Muscle soreness is another, all right? Curtsy, sunrise. Ready? Right leg back. You have a curtsy back now. Up overhead, just like that. Abs tight. And up. Curtsy. And up. Or toe back. And up. Toe back. Just like that. There, come on. Keep feeling shoulders, front and back. No 
Our biceps assist there. It's all happening. Shoulders on the top as well. On to our whew, cardio. It's like this. Crunch it. Crunch it. Crunch it. Let's move. All right. Ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. There it is. Got to move here. Moving is how we get that heart rate up. Crunching those obliques. Getting a lot of work in this workout. Abs are all over the place here. I hope you notice that. Oh, hand pressed. How are you? I felt that. All right, we have a sumo squat. Go high raise. I'm going to go medium weight here. So, no, I'm sorry, sumo deadlift. So, feet are wide, toes towards knee. Hinging down like a deadlift move. Come up first. Then we're going to do a high row. All right? So, down weights. Right by the body. Why don't you hold your abs really tight? Drive the hips back. Why don't you get those hips under you, right here, because we are very wide at the feet before we come up and do this raise. And right as you come up to do the raise, pull the tummy tight right there. Couple more, come on. We're almost there. One more, finish with me. And pull, oh, good. All right. Fun move to finish us off. Lots going on here. Feet are wide, you're going to bring the weight down by the foot, pull like a lawnmower, pull it, then push it down, pull, push, all right? Just move with this, you're going to get a cardio effect, you're going to get core, total body, bending those knees, flat back, press, weight is across, so you want that weight coming across, and then as it presses, it presses out to the side, move with this, okay? Putting it all together here, total body, compound move, high heart rate. Feel it? I hope so. Now notice, we have a unilateral move with this one arm. We have a compound move with upper lower body going. And we have heart rate up. So metabolic conditioning rolled into that move. We have all of the types of things we've worked on. In this video. Alright, you got the other side. We're done. Are you ready? I hope so. Wow, I feel it. That's good. I like that. Alright, here we go. Over. Up and press. Move with it. Don't tell me tight. Remember, I don't see that all the time, but we are always working our core, especially when we have a lot going on like this. That core body. Pulls it all together, so it is really working to support you. You want to add intensity, pull the abs tight. So we work even a little harder. Okay. Congratulations, yay you! All right, that was no joke. I hope you felt that that was no joke. We are going to start with a oblique stretch here. Short stretch, because that was a pretty long workout. We did our work for about 28 minutes on each side. I like to keep these videos right around 30 minutes for you. So if you want a longer stretch, you know what I say? Push your hands, lift, and your shoulders back here. End of this video, there's going to be my stretch playlist. You can click right onto that and it'll bring up all the stretch videos on the channel. And there's some nice short ones, and then there are longer ones. So, depending on what time you have, pushing forward, grounding the shoulders in the back, how much time you have, you decide what's going to work best for you. Let's roll these shoulders out in the other direction. Let's pat yourself on the back, stretch out the back of the arm. On the other side. 
Bring those arms down, those shoulder rolls sit up. Again, over to one side, bring the heel up, sit back, feel this stretch. Whew. Up to the other side, keep your head above your heart here. Go up, you feel that stretch. And then hands on your knees, you have to down with a flat back. Round the back and flatten. Round it and then flatten. Bring it all the way up. Take a deep breath. Exhale. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. One more inhale. Maybe they'll put it in your YouTube library so you can find it again and do it again. If you have not subscribed, I invite you to subscribe. There's never a cost to subscribe and you help us grow this channel. So have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Thank you.